So, the, so what are your thoughts heading into the MCA Info? Um, I'm excited. I think everyone's ready to go, and all of us girls are rallying behind each other and getting ready for next week. What kind of a mountain to climb is it to try to try to repeat? Definitely. Every year we face the same battle, and I think we're just as ready to go to war as any other year. Did you catch any motivation from the fact you guys have dropped so much in the rankings? Um, definitely. I mean, we always want to do as well as we did last year, and we've been working really hard, working together in practice, and I mean, we're all going to go out there and give it all we got. You don't want to be the group that doesn't win the title, do you? Definitely not. <laughs> How much pressure is there because you guys have won five straight? Um, I mean, there's there's a lot of pressure, but I mean, we've done it every year, and you, you can't really look at last year or compare any team to the previous five years, and this is a completely different team, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can do. You're, you're the old vet now. Um, what's it going to be like, you know, look around, no Laura, no Phyllis, um, and you kind of have to carry that leadership role? Um. I'm excited. I think I've learned from Laura, I've learned from Phyllis and English, and they've taught me everything. And these these freshmen and sophomores and Jasmine, um, they're all ready to go. And I think they're mentally getting prepared. And um, I know that they can they can handle it. You and Jasmine Todd have been pretty neck and neck uh, all year in the 60s. Are you guys pretty competitive with that in practice? And, and yeah, it's a fun environment in practice. Um, there's a there's a group of five of us that always go at it, and we always uh, compete in practice. And I know it's a friendly rivalry that me and Jasmine have. Uh, I mean, we're going to go out there as kind of like sisters on the line, and we'll really help each other. So yeah, I'm excited. Mentally, is it a different preparation for you going into this meet? Kind of, do you feel any different kind of a burden that you bear to step up and perform? Um. Yeah, I mean, I have three events, so I just have to take them event by event, and I'm one of the oldest on the team now, or the oldest, so definitely more of a burden. I'll take more of the pressure, um, but yeah, I'm ready to, to take on that role. You said you've learned from Laura, and you've learned from Phyllis. What did you learn from Laura, and what did you learn from Phyllis? Um, you kind of just have to believe. You have to be mentally tough, and you have to fight for every point, point. and if I learned anything from the last two years that I've been at Nationals, Coming into day two, I don't think anyone believed in our team besides us, and you just have to fight and scrap for every point, and uh, I know that that's what we'll do when we get there. Is that sort of the wisdom you want to impart on the youngsters that are showing up this week? Definitely. I mean, last year I think we felt like we had no shot when it came to day two at winning nationals, and or everyone else thought we had no chance, but definitely – we, f we work hard every day, and, and that really helps us going into day two. And we're so uh, we're, we're like a big family here, and so I think that really helps us. Do you think the fact that you had to come back and win uh, in kind of a tight ending there uh, last year gives you a little bit of a mental edge this year since you had that experience? Um, yeah, that was the four by four. They, I think they've done that every year when they they since they were freshmen they came back and did that. But um, definitely, I think uh, the. Freshmen, sophomore people, they saw what we did, and other people that have been there know what, what we have to do to get that win again. You can't leave it to the 4x4 four four this year, though. Nope, we're going to have to do it before that.